All right, morning guys. It is Saturday morning. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I think I've got to organize my channel a little bit better. So what I think I'm going to do is when I can do it. The truck here, Project Crack Pipe. I think this will be a Sunday, Sunday only channel. So I'll do what I can do during the week or the weekend and then post a video compile them all, do whatever I'm doing, and then it'll be posted on Sundays. So, um, yeah, what I got here, just to show you guys, um, so today's Saturday, this will be posted tomorrow. So I have this kind of mocked up, not, nothing's tacked, nothing's anything, just uh, feeling it out. So, uh, yeah, so this is where the airbag, I guess, is going to sit. Um, like I said, i got to bring this axle forward. I think the maximum I can bring it forward is 3 inches. So, um, yeah. So this is going to sit like this, underneath the axle, obviously. The other side of the airbag is going to sit on top of the axle after I cut the... I'll have to cut the hanger off for the shock mount and then I'm gonna have to cut this uh, perch off so uh, yeah a lot of grinding and cutting so that and that on both sides um, and then I'll have to cut the one off down here underneath the leaf springs and yeah then all my grade 8 hardware that I smuggled on the plane from Nebraska that'll all be deleted <clears throat> so um, and then I'll come in here uh, it looks like this is welded like right back in here along the bottom I'm hoping it's not I'm hoping it's not welded up in here because that's gonna be a pain in the ball it's gonna be a lot of grinding which I don't really want to do. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take all this off. I'm going to take all these leaf springs off. Um, I'm going to take these. I'm going to grind these flush with the tubing. And then I'll take my TIG welder and uh, basically clean it up. So I'm going to grind as much material as, off as I can. And then I'll TIG it so it looks a little cleaner. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know, it's what I was told. I got a guy at work that did a lot of TIG welding. He went to TIG school or welding school and everything and that's what he told me to do. Because I sent him pictures and I was like, hey, I can make these and sell these. And then he told me how to clean it up. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm going to start with uh, basically, I'm going to take these shock perches off. Uh, those, those off. I'm going to take this crossbar off. I'm going to take this crossbar off. Um, there's this, I don't know, muffler hanger or whatever. Probably guy probably had dual exhaust or something at some, some point. There's one over there too. Take those off. Um, and then probably come in, grind or drill or whatever. These uh, bump stops. Take those off. Um... It's looking like I might have to get a fuel cell. Um, I don't know. You guys know that I was trying to do this on a budget, but I might have to get a fuel cell, and I might have to remove this hump here. Um, but I don't know yet. And then I might have to take the drive shaft, get it shortened uh, approximately three inches. So anyway, I'm going to start with unbolting stuff. Uh, get some jack stands under it. I do want it to sit about an inch lower will be right height. So I want to go down an inch and then that'll be my right height. And then that's where I can set these bars and everything here. Because uh, I kind of want those to be parallel. <clears throat> parallel or uh, three degrees positive with the uh, pinion. So... Anyway, 
Um, yeah, let me get all that started. The only thing I don't know about and don't really know how it's going to work is, is those are your shock mounts. So it has airbags, but these are shock mounts. So I don't know. I might run the shock from here diagonal. Um, but I don't know yet because otherwise I'd have to build something off of here to make a tab for the shock you know so like a a crossbar which I'll have to do a crossbar anyway um, for the the pan hard bar um, but I might have to overhang it here unless I can get the shock to go from here to somewhere over here but then the airbags are right there if that all makes sense so I might have to make that pan hard bar come out here and do a tab for the shock because I'd rather have the shock straight up and down um, this way if it articulates and stuff anyway I don't know this is my first suspension thing I've done I've done lift kits and stuff but <clears throat> and uh, yeah so and I got all the parts laid out somewhat I got my pulley on there so I mean it's pretty beefy parts I guess um, yeah, so I'm gonna set you guys up out there and I'm just gonna, I guess, go to town zipping stuff away. So, yeah, um, stay tuned. Um, but this will be a Sunday series, keep that in mind, Sunday only, and then random stuff throughout the week, maybe. I don't know, only one guy. So, let me get you set up out there.